So I've recently taken up bushcraft and uh, I've been in the outdoors developing my skills and inevitably I needed a folding saw or a hand saw to cut up some logs for the fire and things like that. Um, what I found was the market is saturated with different folding saws at different prices, different quality. Um, and I've eventually stumbled across one that, to be honest, I think is ideal for the type of stuff that I'll be doing. Okay, so this is the blade itself. This is how it comes. Um, you can see the Barco logo there and the Laplander. And it's it's pr pretty convenient, really. This one's come with a leather cord strap. Um, you might want to tie your own knot there and do a different knot. But it's it's got the, the hole for it anyway, so it's just handy to have that holding strap. Uh, the blade itself, it's got a press um, locking mechanism here and it can lock both when it's closed, so it's locked at the moment um, and you push that button down and then the blade opens and it also locks when it's opened as well, so that now cannot fold down. It's high quality Sandvik steel. Uh, the weight overall I think is about 200 grams. It's very light, feels lightweight, but it does feel good quality at the, at the same time. It's also got a black non-stick coating. This coating here will, will will come off by the teeth eventually once you've used it quite a bit. It's got the Barco XT teeth which means it basically cuts both going forward and backwards. The model is the 396 lap. Um, the blade itself is seven and a half inches long and when folded up it's about, when I've measured it, it's about nine inches. This can fit comfortably in my pocket um, of most of the trousers that I'll wear. It's got a screw here where you can change the blade, um, just a Phillips head there where you can change the blade. I think blades are readily available. Very lightweight, very compact, and to be honest, for the price, I'd say it's a good value for money item. But let's put it to the test. I've got a couple of logs that I'm going to cut um, of different diameter just to see how efficient it really is. Okay, so I'm going to test the blade on these three different branches here. I've got this one which is about an inch, inch and a half thick. This one is about nearly two inches thick and this one over here is about two and a half, almost three inches thick. I'm going to start with this one and then work my way towards the bigger one. Well, that didn't take much time at all, pretty much 10 seconds I'd say almost, and it's a nice clean cut there as well. Let's move on to the thicker branch. So this is the two and a half inch uh, thick branch. When you're starting a cut, it's good to start with a slow kind of pulling towards you, and then just gently press. You don't need to push too hard, but use the whole width of the, width of the blade at the same time. Be wary of your fingers as well. It's just a slow rocking motion. It's definitely cutting with ease. I'm not putting much pressure on this at all. I can feel the blades not bending much which is good, especially on the push down which can be common. And there we go, nice clean cut again. Okay this is the uh, kind of three inch um, branch. So it cut those other ones with ease. Seems to be cutting through this one. Use the full length of the blade if you can. Don't have to apply lots of pressure. I'm not really putting that much pressure on at all. The blade itself seems very sturdy. It's not bending. Try and change the angle if you can as well. Let the blade do all the work. Yeah. There we go.